The $9.9 million will go towards building an agri-food industrial park at the piece of land on the east side of town uh, where we took some photos earlier today. The provincial funding is part of the Alberta's recovery plan, a bold, ambitious plan to build, diversify and create tens of thousands of jobs and is being delivered through the Strategic Transportation Infrastructure Program grant. This particular project is expected to create 200 jobs for Albertans at the time when we need it most. And of course I'd like to uh, thank Jackie, our MLA, and uh, MP Shannon Stubbs. So on behalf of the citizens of Vegreville, ladies and gentlemen, all those that I thank, thank you very much. And I'd love to go into detail about what role everybody played, and, and I will someday. So uh, since this process started, with us trying to save the jobs at the Immigration Case Processing Centre, we've had to deal with three different federal infrastructure ministers. We started with a majority government in Ottawa. It moved to a minority government. We had a change of government in Alberta. And just when we thought everything was starting to become normal, COVID hits and stops the whole process again. So we've had a few challenges, but I really want to really thank all of Town Council. My question is about the case processing center in Beggarville, Alberta. I don't know if you're familiar, but it's um, moving to Edmonton. Um, the community is quite concerned about it because 10% of the community is employed there. Um, can you speak a little bit to the reason for moving it to Edmonton and if anything will be done to help the community to deal with that? a packed community hall in Begreville. It's here rural residents called out the Trudeau government. In October, the federal government announced it was closing its immigration processing centre and moving it, along with the 280 jobs, to Edmonton. We've asked for the business case that they keep claiming, even though, in fact, uh, no cost analysis was done, no economic impact assessment was done. Mr. Speaker, the Minister's excuses to close the Vegaville Processing Centre and move it to a Liberal City riding are nonsense. He claimed there's a strong business case, cited efficiencies and said the union agrees. But Prairie PSAC reps say, quote, this has nothing to do with workload or the capacity of these employees to deliver service. The reason given by department heads were trivial. They confirmed senior officials said no cost analysis was done. No. They call for a reversal of this edict. What? So how can Vegreville believe anything this minister says? Yeah. Mr. Speaker, the minister's edict to close the Vegreville Immigration Centre and move it to a liberal-held city centre riding is just the start. Jobs and families are at risk. Removing 280 jobs from Vegreville is comparable to cutting 55,000 jobs from Edmonton. The Liberal plan failed to create one single new full-time job in all of Canada in the past year, and now they're charging ahead to cut 280 from a small rural town. When will the Liberals reverse this edict and save rural jobs? Honourable Minister of Immigration. Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, this is even bigger than 280 jobs. 250 spousal jobs will be impacted. Small businesses will shut their doors. Struggling farm families will lose the only stable income they have. Schools will lose one quarter of their students and then teachers. The Liberals' so-called business case doesn't include a cost study or an economic impact assessment. So how can the Minister claim anything about job gains when he has actually no idea about the full scope of devastation he's causing. Mr. Speaker, when the Minister says closing the Vegreville Immigration Centre is to, and I quote, ensure tax dollars are spent on quality services, he insults my constituents. Yes. In fact, officials praise Vegreville staff, saying it's a model, an innovative office, doing exemplary work and exceeding targets. Claiming the closure is to improve efficiencies is a slap in the face to the hard-working staff there. When will the minister stop attacking my constituents and reverse this edict? 
Madam Speaker, Vanderbilt can't take another hit. Farmers and energy families are already struggling. The Liberals' planned carbon tax will hurt them even more and hike the costs of everything. Yeah. There are 100 houses on the market in town. This will mean wow. 200 more. A single mom of two who actually moved from Edmonton to Vegreville to raise her kids in rural life can't commute or afford to relocate. Yeah. Will the minister reverse this decision and save her job and all the others? The It's my honour to stand here and help announce this important investment for the town of Vagerville. First, I'd like to acknowledge the Federal Minister of Infrastructure and Communities, um, Minister McKenna, for the federal contribution to this project. Thank you to our local MP Shannon Stubbs for her tireless advocacy for this community and the project as well. I would also like to thank Premier Jason Kenney, Infrastructure Minister Prasad Panda, and Transportation Minister Rick McIver for this important investment in Vegreville. And now that we've secured the financing and we've done the engineering, it's time to get this project out to tender and hopefully even get some of it started this fall to show our commitment to the investors that want to come here. On behalf of the Vegreville and District Chamber of Commerce, I would like to uh, first and foremost thank the uh, provincial government as well as the, uh, the federal government. There's no denying that cooperation such as this uh, is essential when we're talking about major community changing projects. Uh, I would like to also uh, specifically thank uh, our MP Shannon Stubbs and of course our MLA Jackie Armstrong-Hominuck.